What is up, Obscure Mike people? I am getting real sick of the Shure SM7B. Not really. It's fine. But I got an interface, and it's an older one, and I just want to know, yes or no? I just want to know, yes or no. On the M-Audio Fast Track 2, we'll cut to a video here in a moment, but this is a 24-bit, 48 kilohertz device, so it's already got a leg up on the Behringer UM2s of the world. Again, we'll, we'll get to that B-roll in just a minute, but you can get one of these for between 20 and 30 bucks all day, every day, pretty much. They're on eBay. They're on Mercari. They're on Guitar Center Used. They're, you're not going to pay a whole lot for one of these. And plug and play with Windows. I've tried it on Windows 11, Windows 10, and it works plug and play really quickly with no issues every time. I don't have anything from Apple, so I can't test it on anything from Apple. I gave up on Apple because I'm really sick of every time a new operating system comes out, one of my programs are no longer useful with it. Just gets old. Gets old. The cash cow that is Apple, done. Just done. Can't do it. So, M Audio Fast Track 2. All right, so here is the device. All plastic. Looks nice though. XLR port, guitar port, direct monitor button, headphone jack, plastic all the way around. On the back, you got uh, red and white outputs, USB printer cable style, 48 volts phantom power switch, plastic on the bottom, plastic on the top with some knobs, mic gain, guitar gain, and output. Pretty small, pretty handy. Pretty portable, lightweight, but not too lightweight. Solid, even though it's plastic. Buttons feel good. Not a bad device at all. Just, you know, it feels better than the UM2 from Behringer. This thing was released in 2010. We're talking about a 12-year-old device here, but it's 24-bit. 48 kilohertz, that's better than CD quality. And that's good enough for me, honestly. But this thing... Even though it's old, sometimes you got to overlook age and build and just know that if you need to get going, there's options out there that are super cheap and can run an SM7B. What? So the gain on this thing is not quite at 100%. It's at like 98%. Now I'm going to be quiet for a second. Now I'm going to increase the gain and you're going to hear more noise and it has that gain stepping thing going on. It just does. You'll hear it. Not a big deal though, because you can get levels out of it before that, but I also do hate that, but we're talking about a used older device you can get for 20, 30 bucks tops. Here we go. All right. So I've got the gain. Still not at 100%, but we're probably at like the 98% level. And of course, the gain coming through is louder. I'll level match this the best that I can. But here comes the gain stepping. Here comes the 100%. Now, again, it's uh, it just introduces a lot of hiss when you get to that level. But of course, you can... You can just go down incrementally, which I'm going to do until we get no noise floor. There's a little bit of noise floor there. And there we are. And there we are at about that 98% uh, level. And there's no noise floor, but we're still getting levels that we can boost and post on this thing. Let me try to eke out just a little more. It's a very sensitive knob. Turn just a little bit here and there. There we go. Still no noise floor there. And, and I'm getting the levels I was at. So you just got to be careful with the SM7B just to, I mean, I'm turning like this, like, like just slightly to get the levels I want, but it's doable. It's workable. 
let's get off the SM7B. We'll do we'll do something else with this. Uh, we'll throw a condenser on here just for the sake of knowing what you get with this interface as far as the preamps go. Okay, so now I've got a handheld condenser. I'm not going to disclose exactly what it is. You guys let me know if you think it sounds good or not in the comments down below. But this is a battery operated condenser. So most of the power is coming from the batteries. Uh, but, you know, I've got the gain set to roughly 50%. So this is what it sounds like on 50%. This is a handheld condenser. Let's throw another one at it. Here we got ye old F-Deuce that's been in a whole lot of videos. The old F-Deuce. F-Deuce also on 50%. So this is the F-Deuce on 50% XLR mode. Okay, and now I've got my trusty Avlex AVS-77. An end address condenser that uh, if you haven't seen the video, you should check out. See that nice gold capsule in there? This is my longest standing owned microphone. I'll never get rid of this thing. It's too rare, it's too hard to find, and I actually love the sound of it. So Avlex AVS-77, end address condenser, microphone, well below 50%, probably at about 30% gain on the M-Audio Fast Track 2. And uh, we're gonna end it with this one here. With that being said, I think the M-Audio Fast Track 2, which I keep looking over at, is uh it's a yes it is a very easy yes it's got a nice clean preamp the only the only thing i don't like about it besides i can't come i'm not going to nitpick it is an all plastic build the knobs are on top the xlr ports in the front kind of like the xlr port in the back that's just the thing i like i like it more in the you know i like to like to get it from behind but honestly you've got a guitar jack here so it's you know it's xlr and quarter inch input it's hard to complain for the price and the preamps do a good job the headphone amp like i was trying to say earlier before i stuttered around da, 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 da. the headphone amp is just kind of barely adequate it's nothing special but it's it's good enough you it will work for you but i do have it cranked up all the way been cranked up all the way the whole time and it's not very loud in my headphones so i have to really give the gain of crank, but I don't like giving the gain of crank on uh, levels in my programs. So it is what it is. It's good enough. Uh, if you have a cheaper pair of headphones, I'm sure it'll push them just fine. So if you just want to monitor, the headphone amp should be fine. Just don't buy any fancy headphones. It probably won't push them. But M Audio Fast Track 2 is, it's a yes. It's a yes. It's a great device for very little money. And you can use the SM7B on it, which is just. Becoming more and more common by the day, even though that's 12 years old. M Audio Fast Track 2's out of here. Bark's out of here. Quick interface, yes or no? That's all I'm good at, anyways. I am no Julian Krauss. Peace out.